welcome back to Keto Delicious Nest. Today we're going to be trying my Nessa spicy sauce, but vegan style today. Let's say our grace and get into this mukbang. Thank you, Lord, for this meal that I have prepared. Thank you for everything you're doing in my life and bringing in my life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Hey, y'all. Today has been a day. Um... I didn't even want to come do this mukbang, but I had everything already prepared. And I lost somebody very dear and near to me today. So we're just going to eat. I'm going to talk about her a little bit later. Um, but I got to get some food in me, y'all. I have not eaten all day. Um, and we got some crab legs. We got um, no sugar. Um, one is, this is a smoked sausage, andouille sausage. And this is a kibasi. So I got these at Whole Foods. So it'll be my first time trying those. Again, this is my um, spicy Nessa vegan sauce. I tasted it, made it yesterday, and tasted it. It's really good. And let me just get a thumbnail if I can real quick. Ooh, that's too hot. So I'll figure it out. Because <laughs> right now, I just want to eat. So we'll get a thumbnail some kind of way and it's hot as what well up in here so let's go yeah so that's why i look the way i look <laughs> i wasn't gonna do a mukbang and my kids told me to get in here and cook and put it together ma get it together and that's what I did. I hope my crab legs is done. It might be overdone. Not that good. That just little. Let me get some scissors, y'all. I'll be right back. Okay, yeah, I'm back. I had to get some scissors because I wasn't about to play with this. I ain't got the time nor the patience. Not today. <laughs> Not today. So I know I'm just, I just came old natural. Wasn't no getting dressed. None of that. I'm just here. And I know she will want me to be here. So let me get a thumbnail like that. Tell me, get your fat ass over there and eat. <laughs> That's what she would tell me, y'all. Get your big butt over there. <laughs> and I wouldn't take no offense to it. None. When I tell y'all, let me put this over here. Hopefully it's out the way. And this is no lie. This spicy vegan sauce. Hmm. It's top notch. <laughs> I ain't gonna need to lie. This is my first time making it spicy. The vegan sauce. I usually make it mild. But mm, mm, mm. Yeah, I overcooked my crab legs, y'all. That's okay. I'm going to try one of these sausages. So, I believe this one, they didn't curdle up. I didn't air fry them so much. But I believe this one is the andouille one. So, let's see how it tastes. Definitely a hit. Definitely. I'm going to taste this kibasi one because it looked a little funny. 
but um mm. everything up here was cooked in vegan butter non dairy y'all know i'm in a 30 day challenge and this week was non dairy week And I'm not going to say it's been a struggle because I've been getting by. I've been doing pretty good. Been doing really good. And today, after losing my play mother, I went to Wendy's, y'all. I ain't even gonna lie. And I was about to keep it keto still, which is over there. Because I hadn't eaten all day. I'm like... Mm. Something just went in between my two. Oh, this food good. Give me a minute. Mm. 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 Shucks. And I forgot my bib over there. My sister just bought me. To wear but my mind is everywhere y'all so no actually this was the kibasi it wasn't that bad this is the andouille sausage so let's try that Smoked sausage. Mm. And it's good. So both of those are a hit. I put the packaging in the video so y'all can see I got them at Whole Foods. They have no sugar in them. The beef kibasi that I was eating before had sugar in them. So y'all know I'm strict, strict right now. Strict, strict. Strict keto. <clears throat> mm, mm, mm. This sauce is amazing. Totally amazing I can't even believe it <laughs> when you say vegan you know I've had vegan stuff that's good but when you are just so used to eating butter and your regular eating That's what you want. That's what you crave. Whew, I got a crook in my neck. Mm, mm, mm. That vegan butter is amazing. The regular is amazing. It's good. But the spicy, I'm telling y'all, 
I amaze myself sometimes. But what was I saying, y'all? I went to Wendy's and got me a bunless triple no, a bunless baconator. A triple with extra pickle, onion, tomato, and lettuce. Bunless. And I was just going to come home and eat that. say F the world. <laughs> Forget being dairy free this week. That's what I had in my mind. But here comes my accountability partner. <laughs> Dash, my daughter. She's in the challenge with me, doing very well. I'm so proud of her. But I was on FaceTime with my oldest daughter. And we put her in. I told her, I just got a burger. I'm going to just eat this. I'm mukbang another day. I can't do it. She was like, did you get cheese on it? <laughs> My oldest daughter, she got a triple cheese. She was like, oh, uh-uh. You better put that in the chat. In the group chat. And let them know what you're doing. Because I'm your accountability partner. I'm telling you not to do that. So I came home and here we are. <laughs> it's super spicy. <coughs> I could <can> tell, <coughs> tell y'all that. I don't know if because the butter is thinner. So I could cut back a little bit on the spices, like switch it up, but I like it. I like it a lot. This vegan butter is amazing. What is the piece I just had? <laughs> Mm. And I put some butter down in the clusters. Wow. Wow. Mm. 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 Y'all see, I'm getting all this meat. So shout out to my daughter for making me stay accountable. realize 
I mean, I always know that. Yeah, every day ain't gonna be a good day. <clears throat> and I always push through when I'm going through. Always pushing through it, y'all. But sometimes <clears throat> you just want to give up and just say, <clears throat> forget it. But um, usually when I'm going through something like this, I would do that. And I know y'all like, dag, every time you turn around, this girl losing somebody. That's how I feel to me, too. Just how it feels. But my counselor explained it. I know so many people and been knowing them for years. And when I meet people, it's genuine. And when I pull you in my life and in my circle, ooh, excuse me. The relationships be genuine. And I have friends forever. <laughs> people in my life forever, y'all. And I know a lot of people. And my counselor told me, she said, Denise, because of the life you live and the spirit that you have, you're going to experience death a lot. But it just hurt, y'all. Like, my heart literally is aching right now. Yeah. I'm going to hold it together. I'm going to hold it together. <clears throat> but I just want y'all to know how I feel. But I can't keep giving up every time because so many things happen to me, you know? And just stay away and not keep going on with the show or whatever I got going on. So don't get me wrong. You need to cut back some time and give yourself time. But... <sighs> Today, I could just hear and feel Mama Net telling me the show must still go on. And that's why I'm here right now. When I say she was my play mom, she was like my mom, for real. Her son was my very first, very first let me say, real, like, relationship, real boyfriend. Yeah. <clears throat> when I was 15, yeah, maybe 14, going on 15, somewhere near. I had boyfriends before, huh? But this was, I'm going to say my first real, because <laughs> he was older than me. He was actually my, he is my, was my cousin's uh, best friend at the time. My cousin Bobby, they were best friends. And I ended up dating him. And um, he was older than me. I was 14, 15. Um, 
he had to be maybe 18 or 17. <laughs> so, of course, my mother <laughs> didn't approve of that. <laughs> but, nonetheless, over the years, since then on up, me and his family have been connected. And I could hear when I would go over his house when I was younger. I think they lived on test score. But I would go over there and his mother, I would come in. She'd be like, bring your fast tail cell phone in here. <laughs> Mm-mm. And she just took to me from then. Took to me from then. And as I went through high school, we went and me and her son went together, but we were still keeping touch here and there. But once I graduated and was out on my own. We talked all the time. She was there for all my babies. All my pregnancies. <clears throat> to this day, she talked to me. She loved all my kids. But as soon as I call her, where my baby at? I already know who she talking about, Shay Shay. I'm like, my, she doing good. She in North Carolina. <laughs> but... She was around through all my pregnancies. When I was pregnant with Deja, Deja's dad was dropping me off at her house. <clears throat> and she lived in a duplex. And her son that I used to go with lived next door with his girl. So Deja's dad used to drop me off over there. I used to be big as what pregnant, just walking, wobbling over there. Every day. I'm like, drop me off over uh, Mama Nat house. And every time he would drop me off, he would have an attitude because he'd be like, I just don't understand this. Like, how is y'all so close? Is you messing with your um ex-boyfriend? I mean, he lived next door. I'm like, he live over there with his girl. He like, I don't care. <laughs> and of course, because I'm Nessa, of course, you know, my ex was still eyeing me and, you know, say little slick stuff. But I wasn't messing with him. He had a whole girlfriend and I was in love, you know, so... I was there for my mama net, period. That's it. I would go over there. She would feed me. We would play cards. And just have a good time. And then Shondell would come pick me up at night. Me and mug. <laughs> I would be over there all day, y'all. All day. Just kicking it. Now, when I say cook, <laughs> cook her butt off. I was so sick with the twins when I was pregnant with them. I would literally gag and, you know, the rest every day, all day. I was so sick. And I was working as a case manager at that time. So I drove around and went to see my clients a lot. So I would be sick, right, at my client's house, just sick. And I would call her like, Ma, I just need to lay down on my break. She'd be like, come on, baby. And I would just go over there and just lay on her couch and just sleep. And I would tell her to wake me up with my next appointment. And she would wake me up. Sometime I would lay there for hours because my next client wasn't for another hour, I mean, a couple hours. And she would just let me sleep. <clears throat> I'm just hurt, y'all, that she's gone. Every holiday, she was cooking till she got a little older and sick. 
she was cooking dressing that'll make you smack your mama <laughs> mac and cheese the whole and everybody coming through so many people loves her loves her cooking everybody coming through everybody loved her i took a few of my boyfriends over there and chill with her and they used to be like no this your who <laughs> She like, yeah, I'm her mama. And she would be there with her lashes. <laughs> Y'all wearing lashes now. She been wearing lashes, okay? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Her lipstick. Hmm. Always died up. I remember once she went in the hospital. She called me. She like, I'm at South Point. I'm in intensive care, but my lashes is coming off and I need some glue. <laughs> and I went up there and took her lash glue because her lash was coming off. Mama let them play by her lashes. <laughs> Stayed, kept it on deck. So I've been knowing her since I was 14. 14. She was my mother. My play mother. My second mother. Yes, she was. And she's gone. And it's just unbelievable. Unbelievable. That quick. I haven't talked to her. She called, she inboxed me on Messenger and said, call Mama Nat. And that's right when I got COVID. And I said, okay, Ma. And I called her because y'all know I was sick. I got sick on the 20th. I called her on the 25th. She didn't answer. I inboxed her. Mom called me. Then I video chatted. She never called me back. And I have been meaning to inbox her granddaughter or her daughter to tell them to have her call me in life. But that's okay because I know she knew I loved her. I know she loved me. Period. <laughs> Period. And she's going to be dearly missed. When I say a huge sports fan, football, loved it. And just a fun fact, London Fletcher, the football player, was my cousin. My father, my father, my uncle married his mom. <clears throat> and he was already born, but, you know, my cousin Keisha, which is his sister, they had uh, her together. But London was already born when they got married. But, you know, of course, she married my uncle and he took on our last name. So that's how we related. So, but... um. Every time she knew that, and every time I'm not a huge football fan, I couldn't even tell you to this day what team London played on because I don't know. <laughs> Maybe the Ravens, I don't know. I have not a clue, okay, because I never follow sports. But when I tell you, every time that man stepped foot on the field, and he would make a touchdown or whatever it was, she would be calling me like, sorry, y'all. But did you see that? <laughs> did you see what he just did? And I'm like, who, ma? She like, yo, cousin, London. He on fire. Like, she would call me so pump, y'all. When I tell you so pump, I'm like, ma, 
I'm not watching football. She said, well, your ass should be because I'm telling you, he doing it right now. She ain't miss a game. She just a beautiful soul, period. She made shit happen for her family, was always there for everybody. She loved wholeheartedly with her heart, her whole heart. And I'm going to miss her. <laughs> I really am. <laughs> I know she wouldn't want me to stop. <laughs> I know she would. <laughs> she would be telling me, you better sit your fat ass. <laughs> I'm just telling you, that's just how she talks. She cuts like a sailor. But she didn't mean no harm. Would always tell me how beautiful I am. And when I would come in, she'd be like, you a bad bitch. You bad. You know, she always uplifted you. And just, I'm just so hurt. And I just want to get my condolences and well wishes to the Edwards family. I love y'all so much. I am here for whatever you guys need. And you know. How much she meant to me. They know. And she will forever live in my heart. It will never be forgotten. Ever. Never. And because of her, <laughs> the show will go on regardless. So, but I love y'all. I'm going to get on up out of here because I know y'all like... <laughs> This girl, but this is my life, you know, and every time I sit in front of this camera, it's not going to be glamour and laughter. It's going to be tears, too, because this is my life, and for some reason, and because, again, for the purpose I told you, I know so many people, and I connect with so many people, unfortunately, heartache and tragedy follows me near, and it's just a part of life. And I just have to keep pushing through it. I can't keep stopping every time something tragic happens or something hard happens. I just got to push through and come sit here and cry with y'all and look crazy, you know. But it is what it is. This is my life. But I'm about to get out of here. I don't know how long this video is. I'm sure it's probably over 30 minutes. But I love y'all so much. This food was delicious. This vegan butter spicy nesta sauce y'all got to get y'all some of that i'm telling y'all even through the tears even through the heartache that shit bomb <laughs> mama net i love you always i love y'all until next time keep it key delicious peace bye y'all